Okay, on my way over here to the parts house to get my new condensing unit. <clears throat> we'll get our, uh, for that little neighborhood grocery store, we'll get that all changed out. All right, I just pulled my uh, new condensing unit out. I'm gonna get my recovery hooked up and get this thing uh, so I can start taking it apart. And uh, that's where we're at. The new unit, the scroll. That's what it's going to look like. It comes with the dryer, sight glass, all the goodies. You get high head protection, get your digital suction pressure control. We've seen on other videos. Um, I'm still recovering the old one. So how it's gonna go so while it, <clears throat> the unit's recovering here you'll see on this one whoever put this in back in the day used short radius elbows that's a big no-no then look at this liquid line set up it kind of just came and did its thing man so I gotta get some unistrut on the wall and <clears throat> I'm gonna have to cut this back here Get rid of those short radius 90s and put some long radius 90s in. bolted down I'm taking apart suction service valve here it has the pressure transducer on it um, so we can make our silver solder weld I cut that elbow back and I got a long radius elbow on there now I'm thinking I might just go street L and then over the top here and then in That's what I'm thinking. Okay, I got my squirrely liquid line done. Uh, now I got it on a nitrogen holding charge right now. We'll check for leaks. And that's where we're at right now. Okay, got her up on the vacuum pump. It held pressure. So let's go ahead and pull our vacuum down. Um, you get a suction accumulator on the medium temp ones. Nice big receiver. This one's single phase. So you get your start cap, run cap, and your potential relay. And you get your Emerson digital low pressure control. With all the goodies. And you got fan cycling. Also comes through this control. And they got the sensor now going to the uh, condenser. So they're checking liquid line temperature, which is pretty cool. This old system was R22. I'm going to run this one on 407C. And we're getting started in our microns. Okay, we've got the microns way down. Now we're going to get ready to charge her up, R407C and we'll get this thing going. Okay, so I just got it started up, adding some gas. I got enough in there for it to get started and run. This is what it looks like. Uh, 8.5 amps. The compressor is rated for 15.7. And I'm just getting started. The box is hot as heck. I didn't show you guys the box. 
It's an old wooden box. Look how old that handle is. Ancient. It's got a bunch of glass doors. It's got two coils in it. It's got this Larkin coil right here. We'll get the smart probes on there for a super heat check. And we got this low profile coil right here on the other side. That's what we're working with. What's our temperature in here? Like 55 degrees inside the box. And the beer's hotter. This side's probably warmer than that. So, let's get into okay, it. Okay, so checking out this Copeland scroll condensing unit for a walk-in box for medium temp. Through the logic on the controller, they lead lag the fan motors. So this one was the primary when it started. I blocked off the condenser with the cardboard over there. Bring the head pressure up the cycle on this fan. Remove the cardboard. Head pressure came back down. This one stays running and this one goes off. So watch. I'll, uh, let's block it off here and we'll bring on the other fan. You watch the head pressure come up now. And at around 245 head pressure, our other fan's going to kick in. There it goes. We'll remove the cardboard and we'll let our head pressure come back down. And then this one will stay running. So it's rotating them, so one doesn't wear out faster than the other. There she goes, switching to that fan. So it's really neat how it'll switch back and forth. So you don't wear one out, that's a really nice feature. All right, we're slowly getting her charged up here. Box is still hot, so we'll take our time here. We're almost at nine amps now. Okay, got the smart probes hooked up back there. Uh, my box is 48 degrees. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's turn that on. Box is 48 degrees. Superheat's going to need some adjusting. Okay, so we got up there. Got my tools here. And we got the cap off and we adjusted our TXV. We're balancing out between 10 and 11. I still got some more cooling to do. And I might pinch that one off just a hairball. It's really close. Really close. Okay, so I'm over here. This is the old Hussman coil. I didn't like the way it was it was cooling, and look what I found. This one feeds air up the fans and then out the coil. So look, <clears throat> things all pluggered on the inside, like mega. So I'm gonna see if I can get this tidied, super tidied up. There's our TXV old timer. Um, there's actually a liquid line dryer inside here too, the old school. I didn't see that earlier. I'm going to have to pump it down and see if I got one on the truck and change that. Live and learn, Dave. Live and learn. And this is, oh yeah, this is, that's internally equalized, or externally equalized. Pardon me, it's right here. Catching off this tap, off the header tap. All right, let me get to cracking on this. Yes, years and years and years of shit. Look at the 
fan blades gotta get cleaned off too. Look at those. All right, let me get after it and we'll see if we get some before and after pictures. There's the fan blades off the coil. You knew I was gonna find a sink somewhere and wash these things. Well, let me get after it. So here's where I'm at. I've been scrubbing and vacuuming, uh, making a little bit of progress. I got the blades out, washed up. But now I'm gonna go, I gotta get nuclear. So I'm gonna get the nitro. I'm gonna blow the crap out of that thing both ways. See if we can get this thing cleaned up and make a big old mess. That's what I do. This is my nitrogen setup. It's a bunch of pneumatic air stuff you can buy. I have a video on all my nitrogen rig and the long hose somewhere is way back there on my channel at NorCal Refrigeration and HVAC. It's really cool. Let's get after it. This is gonna nuke, this is gonna be nasty. Got the fan blades back on, ran some coil cleaner through there, blew it out with nitrogen, scrub brush, vacuum, and uh, let's get the reassembly going here. Okay, now my I got that other big coil cleaned up. My sight glass is clear. I got 24 compressor superheat, 10.7 subcooling. It's right in there. The other fan's gonna cycle on here in a sec. Um, it's not very hot out today. It's probably like in 60 degrees. Uh, box is hot inside, and we got airflow now. Let's take a look. Yeah, I had it off for so long, the box got back up to 50, 51 degrees. I could put it like that. So I just got it back online and we're back to running. And it's a lot happier. That middle fan's noisy. Alright, there it is all covered back up in the little doghouse. That's how it came out. Well, on that one, another multiple offender deluxe. I would say for the new guys, you got to make sure you check the whole system. Like we found that coil all hammered and dirty and filthy. Um, and that's why I don't like to bid jobs. You got to go time and material. You never know what you're getting into, especially on an old beater system. But that does it for that one. It's all up and running and doing a good thing. And hope you liked it. Um, like, subscribe, and thanks for tuning in.